sometimes when we want to motivate ourselves, we just go and drive by and just to see how our fight's done. And we kept on saying, it's just a few more months. So I'm like a motivation for a lot of things that at least we'll, we'll go to a space where we're able to do the work that we want to do. Kailicha was found like a lot of townships in Cape Town uh, during the Group Areas Act. And I think Kailicha has a lot of characteristics like any other township in South Africa, you know, like challenges with uh, access to services. Kailicha was born 1985, Kailicha. And there were no houses here, only informal settlements. People of Kailicha are from various places, from Kukuletu, from Langa, from Nyanga, and uh, they were forced to come and stay in Kailicha because the, most of them are black people. There were no schools here, no schools, no clinics, no, the people were suffering. Suffering, I mean suffering. Social Justice Coalition is a community-based organization or social movement. Our work is a lot around advocacy, us using education to, to get communities to understand what their rights are, but also how they can call leaders to account to ensure that they, they have better access to sanitation, safety and justice. Equal Education is a social movement fighting to improve the quality of education in South Africa. When Equal Education came to Kailicha, we, we said, ah, our children are going to get help now, but Equal Education hasn't got a place. A lot of us, a lot of these organizations have challenges to, with office space, um, and safety is a huge concern, and the spaces that we're in obviously limit our capacity as movements to grow. So this is our office. Um, so we had 25 people in this whole place. Um, Which is about 70 square meters. It's been an almost six year journey from those first tentative steps to look for a place to have an office for equal education and I believed for years that it would never actually happen. Getting office space in Kailicha is difficult. There's a need to actually build a structure. And a turning point was Atlantic Philanthropies making large capital investments in different parts of the world. The idea emerged that they would consider a social movement center in Kailicha. I remember clearly the day that we took transfer of the land. It, it felt like an enormous achievement. Ten months ago, this was just a pile of dust. We were standing here, and at that point, we had a sketch that we put in front of the city officials as well as the client body. And when they pressed the button, things went really quick. From the outset, the brief has always had a slant towards make it functional. This is how do you make a simple city building respond to the environment in a humanistic way. The building is both a home for organizations where they'll have offices and a community space. The ground floor has a large meeting hall it has a canteen, it has a library, it has a legal advice office, it has an exhibition space for artists, and it has a cinema, the first cinema in Kailicha, a community of nearly a million people. We're feeling yeah. very excited, we're yeah. moving today. Yeah? Yeah, the yeah, day's actually arrived. A lot of the issues our communities are facing, they interlink. And the fact that you can have one building looking at a lot of different issues, it means you can have a lot of people really um, develop strategies that deal with challenges of ecology from different angles. I want you guys to and so for me, it means 
so much that one, we have space that is accessible to our members. But I think most exciting is space for all these organizations to start building relations, be central and accessible to communities and they can come in and access whatever services we provide.